All right, if you wanna learn how to make this delicious, juicy, tender, amazing pork tenderloin with a wonderful smoke ring, stay tuned and we will show you how we did it on our mini chud box. Pitmaster snack. Don't tell. Two layers of the briquettes on the bottom, one on the top. We are gonna to show you how we made these wonderful baby back ribs. Put our chimney on top, adding that after the cheddar. All right, this is a pork tenderloin, so we're gonna cook this today on the chud box. So I'm just gonna get this ready. So these come pretty well trimmed. You can see this one. There's really just a couple little things that I'm gonna cut off just so that they don't burn up. This one has a little more. Gotta pat it dry. Today's seasoning of choice is holy cow for meat church. It's a very high pollen day, so forgive me if I have to pause to sneeze. All right, these are all seasoned, so now we want to let them sit for about 15-20 minutes until you'll start to see that they kind of glaze over because the salt in the rub will draw out the moisture. So once you see that, which usually takes about the 15-20 to 20 minutes, then we can get them on the chud box. All right, the chud box is ready to go. It is rocking a pretty solid 250, so we are going to get our pork tenderloins on. dangerous to do it like that, but that's how we live here on the edge. All right, so I'm not sure exactly how long these are going to take, but I have an internal um, meat thermometer that I can check them with, and I'm guessing probably at least an hour for them to be done, so we'll check them in a little bit. All right, our pork tenderloins are done. We did the internal temperature, and they were actually temping about 170, 175, which is well done, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna pull them off. Now they should rest for a few minutes before we actually cut them. So our pork tenderloins are done. So I'm gonna cut one of these bad boys. They've been sitting for a few minutes. Still pretty hot. Very hot. Very juicy, as you can see. Okay, so Pitmaster always gets the first snack. Hazard of the job. All right, and that's me. Oh my god. Holy cow, why haven't we made these before? They're so good. And this is another, oh, a little spicy, um, really economical thing that you can make. These two pork tenderloins together were about $10. So, you know, if you have a bigger family, you can 
feed your family pretty inexpensively and get a lot of meat. 